Hello, and welcome to me, and I'm joined by one, two lovely, wonderful guests that have appeared on the channel before. Introduce yourself, starting with Nathan, because he's alphabetical, I suppose. This is Nathan. I appeared in Orcs Must Die 2, and that was about it. I think that uh, is it, yeah. He's uploaded at the moment. He might have been in the Payday 2 episode I put up, but that was never made public, so... Yeah, I was about to say, I don't remember that. Yeah, that was early in, uh, like, hanging out with Turbo Days, like, Fowl and Mar and Matter and that. Hmm. Speak, I think Noki might have been in that one just superfluously. Like, I think she exists. No, it was Dee Dee. Dee Dee was in that one. Hmm. God, going back a ways. Noki, introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Noki. I was in the Tales Pay through. Uh, was that the only one you were in? I think so. I don't Crap, I don't, I don't incorporate you guys. Oh, right. We recorded other things but never went up. Yep. Let's not oh, mention right. them so yeah. that I don't have to uh, bleep those. <laughs> They may go up one day. I'll have to look back and see if they're worth uploading. Do you still have the files? I certainly do. Huh. Hung on to them. Anyway, uh... Though we really should, like, find another game to record at some point. And not the point. What we're doing here today, you may have seen on the interwebs. Um, it occurs to me, actually, that I really should have screen shared for you guys so you could see what I'm drawing. Hmm. All right, well, this will be edited out while I correct that mistake. I then immediately hung up on them. So <laughs> Could have planned that better, I admit. <sighs> and we're back. It, okay, uh, that was movie magic, and cut right at the I'm going to stall for a couple more seconds so I can return at the two minute mark we're back oh my god what a fantastic display that was speaking of display you guys should be seeing my display now yes okay yeah. so you may have seen on YouTube that there are several people that do the here's the name of a Pokemon draw them because you don't know them that terribly well challenge thing test game whatever you want to call it the problem with that is I actually know Pokemon pretty well, and therefore could play along with that, knowing what they look like. What I don't know, however, is Digimon. So we're going to rip off people with kind of sort of Pokemon, doing kind of sort of that challenge, with my kind of sort of friends. Let's go, kind of sort of friends. These two are quite familiar, at least compared to me, with Digimon. So they'll be able to provide me with some Digimon that I need to draw. No idea what they look like. I know Agumon, and that's about it. I, I can recognize Agumon and say, hey, that's Agumon, and impress maybe my dad. But anyway, up first, Noki. Give me a wonderful little Digimon. A digital monster. I hear they're the champions. I'm sorry, could you repeat that for me? Digitamamon. Okay, so... But you type it so, because I don't know how to I was going to say, so... Digi... Give me a second here. So, and I typed it in the... Digi... Uh, yeah, but no. Uh, Digi... Tautomon? Tamamon. I, I typed it in the... What the fuck? You know, that was actually one of the ones that I was considering. Uh, oh, well, all right then. <laughs> it wasn't one of the two that I picked, but it was one I was considering. I'm Digi and I, was, I wasn't told how many to pick, so I just... I just don't two. We're, we're doing two I'm each here. Going. We're yeah, doing I'm two each, flying. so... <laughs> Digitatamon. Okay. Tamamon. <laughs> Tam yeah, yes, it's written there on the screen for everyone to see. I'm bad at saying words. Digitamamon. Okay. Tamamon. Well, we're gonna... I'm gonna talk you through my thought process while I draw them. First of all, I'm pretty sure nearly... Like, not obviously nearly all of them, but a good chunk of them have the word Digi in them. Or they certainly have Mon as well. So the Mon, like Agumon, that, that guy's got Mon. They've all kind of got Mon, so we can just ignore that part of the word. It probably has nothing to do with the actual beast that I'm about to draw. Yeah, the, all the Digimons have like, mo the Mon at the end, because it's supposed to be like their digital, so that's sort of like the file extension. Are any yeah. of them Jamaican? I mean, probably. I don't know. Probably. <laughs> I, like, I like that spirit, Nathan. I like probably as an option. So, Digitamamon. Hmm. I don't know if Digi is actually in all of them. Tamamon, Tama. 
What could Tama be? Hmm. Digitama. Digitama. Okay. So, here's what I'm thinking. Um, first of all, because it's a Digimon, I know it's got weapons. Or at least can have weapons. It's not necessarily like there's boxing gloves. There's some with uh, guns or some with claws. There's probably a few with swords. I know there's like an angel guy with a spear. Yeah. That guy, that guy might, you know, have weapons. So, Digitamamon. Yep, Tamamon. That's it's such a weird one to say. You would pick the weird one to say. All right, so I'm I'm gonna backtrack and say Digi probably has something to do with it. So, to start off, I'm gonna make the brush a little bit thicker here. Uh, by which I mean selecting a brush. There we go. Okay. So, got got to be able to get around. So let's give the guy some feet. Uh, okay, that's that's how he gets around. Now here comes the digi part. It's a it's a fun little process. Uh, coming up over here, and uh, turns out he's a phone. <laughs> he's got the little home button here. He's got. Apps on his face for... That's how he, he communicates. And he's just a little happy guy. He's got the little phone icon that can be, I don't know, like a goatee, I guess. I'm going to assume Digitamamon, they use him like the radio. And uh, some angry eyebrows because he's a Digimon. And... Uh, of course, they all have to have weapons, so he also has a sword. I didn't leave myself enough room. Amateur mistake. But, uh, got my nose. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna say that's good enough. That is Digitamamon, as far as I'm concerned. And, uh, if anyone tells you otherwise, they're a liar. Ah, uh, how how close am I? I'm asking you guys before I go ahead and Google image this. How how <laughs> not in this? All right, well let's pull up an image of him. Okay, so this is what Google is telling me. Digi Tamamon looks like. Yep. I'm not really seeing where the digi part comes in. Digital. That's all right. Thank you. He appears in the anime. I can see that he's hanging out with um Doug there, and oh, there he is uh, preparing his suicide. I, I imagine. Had, like, a a revelation recently, like it, it, the design sort of reminds me of like early Tamagotchi. It does look a bit like a Tamagotchi. Game. I I could have gone for Tamagotchi with that particular uh, aspect. I like mine better. You know, I think this guy shows up to the fight. He's got a knife, you know. He's gonna he's gonna call you an ambulance when he's done with him. He's Digitamamon. Uh, all right, we're not saving that. God no, Nathan. All right, the first one I got for you is Zutomon. I hit the text box clearly. Zutomon. Zutomon. Zuta. Uh, uh, no, Z U D O. Z U D O. Mon Zutomon. Yes. Hmm, okay, so, again, we can ignore the Mon aspect of the word, that's Digimon Creation 101, Zudo. Now, hear me out on this, uh, <laughs> this is where my brain went, so this is what I'm going to attempt to draw. I'm mainly focusing on Zoo, so, naturally, we need to make a theme park of sorts got, you know, little animal cages. I cannot draw a zoo. I don't know why I'm attempting this. A little fun animal cage. There's like a giraffe coming out over the top. Yeah, look at me. I'm a giraffe. I got spots all over me. I'm a happy little giraffe. Gotta get, you know, the uh, proportions and whatnot right. So obviously this is a giraffe's pen. Back here, uh, little little giraffe buddies running around. I don't know why. When I thought giraffe, I thought zebra neck, and that's the only thing in a zoo. Uh, over here, there's like gotta erase that. Obviously, I wouldn't see that. 
There is a lion. He's like, yeah, he's got the mane going on. He's happy he's here. That's a lion. Shut up, all of you. Ah. And the other thing a zoo needs, obviously, uh, what's a zoo animal, Noki? Tiger. Uh, sure. He's he's actually wild and killing people, probably. So, little cat paws, little cat head, tiger ears, got stripes, clearly. Grr, ah, there's helpless people in his wake being eaten. And all of this is on top of a body. <laughs> Got some shoes uh, in the background there. There he is. Little happy Digimon guy. He's a walking zoo. Uh, he is dead inside because I have given life to something that should not exist. Empty, do you have? All right. Zudomon. Zudomon. And... Okay, so I think I was pretty close, frankly. You know, you look at him, and he's got, he's kind of got, you know, all parts of animals all over him. You've got the tiger in there, you've got the lion. Uh, giraffes are known for wielding hammers. Uh, yeah. He's got a turtle oh, shell, but obviously I, I ran out of room for the turtle shell. He's got like the rhino horn. He's, he's a walking zoo. You know, I, I think I had the right idea. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and give myself half credit on that one. Alrighty, then. All right, it's nearly like just mirror images, basically. Ah, okay. Noki, go on. back and forth here. Domamon, go mamon. All right, right. Go mamon. Okay, a lot of amons in yours. I'm noticing. Ah, okay, so this one will be go. Ma, come on. Hmm. So I know Goma could be a thing here. Like, that that exists. It could, however, be more focusing on the Go aspect of it. All right, I got this one. So first of all, as per usual, we're ignoring the Mon part. That is required by law. So, first of all... <laughs> Well, let me let me break it down for you. You'll note that uh, Goma consists of two words, mainly go and ma, which is slang for mother. So obviously, it's a ma on the go. So we got to get her, you know, in a little floral print dress here going on. Just nice flowers. And she is holding... A plate of cookies. That's how you know it's a mom. Ah. They're they're very big cookies. She wants to wants to feed all the hungry little children. And she is just booking it. You can tell she's going because she's got the lines here. And once again, I seem to have not left myself enough room for the hair. So just give her that aspect. You know, there's the hairline. And there she is, all happy and smiling. She's got big old glasses, because moms do. She's running for a plate of cookies. Or flowers. She's, she's a classy woman. She would have multiple flowers on her sundress here. And uh, the, the real way you know she's a mom is that she wears a name tag that says Ma on it. Just immediately identifies her. I'm guessing she's a support style Digimon. One of the ones that uh, helps them out when they're in a pinch and are feeling real down. Alright, because you two aren't saying anything and are being boring sacks for my what is audience. The go part? What she's is the going! Go she's going quick! Look, the, the, the lines, she's speeding along. Throw even more in for you. Okay. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10... Rate my creation. That's how we're going to incorporate you two more. When I'm done, you both are going to give me a score out of 10. 10 being absolutely nailed it. This should be in the show. 1 being 
Um, I love it, but it's not quite right, obviously. Minus five. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a two. All right, thank you, Nathan. I, I respected two. So averaging that out, we got negative uh, three. Okay. Uh, let's take a look at Gomamon. It's my favorite Digimon. All right. Well, <laughs> so it's probably a cat then. Nope. All right. Well, there's Gomamon. Uh, I recognize him, actually. He's uh, from the show. He yes, hangs out with that him? guy who's named... Oh, God, that bigger to the right Greg. of the house. Uh, uh-oh. Well, we'll have to <laughs> censor that. <laughs> Gonna have to censor that. I'll, uh... <clears throat> uh, but yeah, there he is hanging out with Vaporeon. A perfectly innocent shot. There he Fun is fact. being all cute. In the show, he evolves into the uh, one that I gave you before. Uh... Zoom on. Oh, okay. Uh, what am I going to censor that with? Probably, uh, I don't know, I'll, I'll figure it out. Uh, but I will have to censor that. I'm going to have to go, I'm going to have to make sure when I click on these that they're screened beforehand. Yeah. But thank you for drawing my attention to that, Nathan. That's wonderful. But yeah, I recognize this guy. <laughs> what is he doing hanging out with Vaporeon? That I Careful don't know. Pack. I mean, well, Noki was all like, it's my favorite Digimon, and this is her favorite evolution, so... I assume she had some knowledge there corresponding to that. Anyway. Well, thanks thanks for making me censor this video, Noki. Real appreciate it. Ah, uh, go, Maman. You know what? Frankly, I think my problem was this should be go, Grandma. So we just, you know, add in a little bit of Gran there. And, uh... Boom. Makes perfect sense. You know what? That brings it up to a three. <laughs> that brings it up to a three. Excellent. Now we're at a negative two on the average. <laughs> Go, Grandma. <laughs> Go, Grandma. Uh, I like that. I like her. She She's adorable. She'll get out there and just make your, everyone's day better. All right. Nathan, hit us with a Digimon. All right. So this one's going to be G... Cute mon. Uh, so let me let me see if I got this right. G, cute, mon. mon. Yeah, just like that. Even with, especially with the hyphen. Huh. It actually has that in its name. All right. Well, I mean, you kind of gave me a softball, I think, because obviously, what I'm gonna do here is draw the giant letter G. And give it just some adorable little anime eyes. Which I can't draw, so... Don't know why I did that. Anime eyes. They exist. Uh, but how to make it really cute. I'm thinking... Gotta give it big old bubbly hands. Waving high at people. It's a cold winter's day. He's got his mittens on. Or maybe he's going in for a hot plate of cookies. You know, you never know. So there you go, Grandma Mana, friends. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, uh, that that was a pretty softball one, G cute Mon. But of course, I'm nobody's fool. I know all Digimon need weapons of sorts. So Digimon, G cute Mon is fucking strapped. Got that gun. <laughs> it's a wonderful gun. Uh, Amazing. Throw in the little finishing details here. Can't 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 be seeing the hand through the barrel of the gun. That's just silly. Even even a day one artist understands that. Uh, packing some sick heat, G cute mon. Now obviously I'm not a perfect artist, so I'm not going to get the shading, the depth, and the colors right. And, you know the proportions are a little bit silly. But uh, you know what? Just give it give it a little. A little cute smile. Look at it. Oh, it's so cute. G cute, man. Ladies and gentlemen. That's All right. Horrible. Now then, Nathan, your score on a scale of one to ten. Legitimately, okay. ten being good, one being terrible. Just rank it one to ten. You get the idea. I'll give it another three. Another three. Well, brilliant. Noki. Two. Two. All right. So. 
With the maximum possible score of 20, I received a 5. Which is a step above my previous one, frankly, so... Yeah, you're not in the negative this G time. Yep, thanks, Noki. Cute mon. Okay. So, there's some Good discrepancy. Works, there is some discrepancy here. So I'm required to ask, is G Cute Mon this thing? No. Or is it this thing? That, that thing. All right. <laughs> Well, I mean, I'm not really seeing how this thing is G or cute, frankly. Me neither. Uh, so what is this little thing here, then? That's cute mon. That's just cute mon. Yeah. Okay. It evolves into G cute mon, which stands for greater cute mon. Uh, apparently. naturally, of course. Digimon, so complex, so mysterious. Frankly, though, I think G Cute Mon, if it's going to digivolve, it should digivolve into H Cute Mon. And that's the thing. You get 26 digilutions, I assume they're called that, uh, with my system of Cute Mon here. And, uh, I mean, really, how can you ignore Q Cute Mon, which is just, that's, that's absurd. Q Cute Mon. That could actually, like, solve war, really. This, just bring this guy... He shows up, everyone's like, oh, how cute. Shoots everyone in the face. Wins the war. Cute mon. G cute mon. <sighs> Five out of 20. Frankly, I, I think it deserves a little bit better than that. <clears throat> All right, I know we said we do two each, but I like making people suffer, and I'd like at least half hour. So, Noki, give us one more. And then Dicker Dramon. Okay, so. Decker oh. Dramon. All right. I don't know this one. So, Decker Drummond. Now, first of all, as we know, the name Decker implies. That was a beautiful straight line. I didn't use the line until either. That was all brush. That was on camera. 10 out of 10, that brush. Just going to... 10 out of 10 there. I gave 10 out of 0. Meant to do that. <clears throat> so, yeah. All right, Decker. What we all know about Decker is every cyberpunk universe has a guy named Decker. And Digimon's already got the cyber going on. So I have to assume this guy is a punk. So to start off with, we got the head. I'm giving myself plenty of room. But you got to get the mohawk in there. He's, he's a Decker. He's all punk style. And he's got a uh, pointed nose and two... Real small but angry eyes. That's why he's small. Uh, big old frowny face. Grr, how dare you. I'm badass and I'm awesome. My nose is gone. Another reason to be mad. There you go. Uh, he's got like little stud piercings all along his head because he's just so punky. And uh, down here. All, we all know, I'll know, you know, when... Decker's on the scene. They've got that torn sleeve look. Ah, their long, gangly arms. They also wear vests. Common knowledge I'm spitting right here. Wear a nice vest over their shoulders. And uh, in case you haven't been able to tell, I can't really draw hands. Uh, I don't know what's going on there. I'm going to assume that's... Everyone's a... just wearing mittens. <laughs> yeah, oven mitts, obviously. For those cookies, Grandgagomon, or Grandmamon. Go Grandma, that was it. Uh, he's got, like, some sick arm tattoos. Uh, got pants. He's basically a dude that somebody looked at and assumed was a Digimon based on the way he was dressed. And uh, since then, they've been throwing Digiballs at him. Uh, and he's not a fan of it. And, uh... He needs a weapon, obviously, obviously. What would a hacker use? I'm so glad you asked, because as we all know, hackers use hatchets that aren't that sharp or look like hatchets. They just, they exist. Hatchets. Mm. Because he's a, he's a hacker, you see. It's a very dull blade. All right, Mr. Wise Guy. I know you're not an artist either. We'll fucking do it your way. Now his hands disappeared. He's upset by your critique of his weapon. 
and get the angler. Uh, I don't. I've seen hatchets before in my life, right? Like this <laughs> I is, hope so. Yeah, this. I should. I should know what a hatchet looks like. So I got this. I, I swear, I've seen a hatchet before, once, uh, on a beach. At a road show. Yeah. And they, they actually told me uh, it wasn't a hatchet, that it was some sort of insane vacuum cleaner. But I, but I know in my heart it was a hatchet. So, there, there we go. It's Decker Dramon. No key. Out, out, of, out of ten. What do you give Decker Dramon here? Wait, wait, wait. Make, gotta make him cybery. Hashtag. Now go. On accuracy or how much I like the drawing? Just follow your heart. What does your heart say out of ten this deserves? I'm going to give uh, five to the drawing. You know what? I, it's that's... not very accurate, but <laughs> I like the drawing. That's, you know, fair enough. I'll, I will take a five. That is better than anything I've received <laughs> so far. I'll give it a four. Four. All right, Nathan's the harsh critic this time, but for a nine out of twenty, I'm at nearly fifty percent. Which you know what? I I want the goal of this to. I've just decided I want to at least break fifty percent. So it's a shame I did the first two without this system because I'm positive they would have gotten some real solid numbers. Now then, Decker Drummon. Okay, and all right, so. Apparently, Decadramon means some sort of tank lizard that lives in the desert. Uh, that's like a Gobot or a Transformer or something. What, what's the one where the beasts turn into the machine animals? It's like Transformers Beast Wars or something like that. Something like that, yeah. Yeah. I'm not sure. That's, not... That, it's, it's like the he's like um, Gridlock who turns into the Tyrannosaurus. It's, it looks like one of those guys. And apparently he showed up in the anime once and says, You are the one who possesses the strongest love. Yeah, okay, that guy <laughs> really seems like he's qualified to be given love speeches. You know what? This guy looks more like he's qualified to be like, You possess the love than freaking alligator lizard over here. <clears throat> All right. Nathan, give us another one. Okay, I found him. Let me just find him again here real quick. You found him? There he is. Find him again. Oh, Haka Daman. All right. You're just making up words at this point. I'll post, I'll, I'll post the spelling. Uh, well, let's see if I can spell it first. What is it? Oh. Oh, Haka Daman. Haka Dalmon? Uh, you're close. Just remove the L. Oh, Haka Daman. Yes. Oh, Haka Daman. Okay. Uh, hmm. So this time, the word I want to focus on is hawk, because we haven't had a flying Digimon yet. So I'm going to, I'm going to, that's the thing. I've been neglecting wings, and it seems you guys skipped over the wings as well. I'm going to throw a curveball and assume this one's got a sweet set of wings that I also don't know how to draw. I'm not sure what my plan was here. Uh, wings, 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 wings. Yep, that's a wing. It's not some sort of mangled comb. I don't know what you're talking about. Give him a nice set of hawk wings there. That's actually much better. Um, hmm. Oh, Haka Demon. All right, all right. Uh, we've got the hawk part. Let's go for the O. I, I have a theme when it comes to Nathan's Digimon because he keeps giving me the same damn openings. <laughs> uh, now, the problem is we have Ada, which, I mean, Hawk, obviously a little bit of a bastardization, but it's, you know, Japanese. They're, you know, got, they got to make the name work. I accept that. Got the O. Now it needs to be Ada, which, as we know, is partly dad. So I'm going to have him smoking a pipe. You know, a little, little bit of smoke coming out of that pipe. He's got a mustache. Nice, thick, burly mustache. Here he is up here with his eyes. And and he's proud of you, son. The pipe isn't in his mouth, but that's not why he's proud of you. <laughs> um, 
other things dads do. Uh, okay, he's got legs, but as a curveball, he is wearing socks with sandals. <laughs> okay. That's what a sock with sandal looks like. Uh, one, one foot's bigger than the other. He's got a club foot, as all dads do, naturally. Uh, he got socks with sandals. Uh, he's got in one hand over here uh, a mug of Joe. Uh, just coming out of the cup there, which that totally is. Uh, and the other hand is naturally not holding the pipe. You might think that's where I was going with this. No, you fools. The pipe just, it's part of his body. As all dads have parts of their body. He's got a newspaper all rolled up, ready to read. Just got words printed on it there. He's reading about your victory in the local spelling bee. Because he's so proud of you. He's your dad. He is. Ah. Just complete that. And you may be thinking, well, gosh, I bet we're done here. No, that's what an amateur would think. Because, see, you forgot about the hawk aspect. That's not empty space there. That's where the beak goes for the <laughs> hawk part of him. <laughs> that's his nose, you see. That's all part of his face. This is, the outer ring here is colored differently to give the O factor. <laughs> But now, okay. it's Ohaka Dadmon. <laughs> I know it's Ohaka Damon, but I think Ohaka Dadmon is really what they were going for here. Ah. I like it. You got creative with this one. All right. What what uh, out of 10 there, Nathan? What you got for me? 6 and a half. All right. You know what? 6 and a half out of 10. That's above 50% already. Noki, what you got for me? Let's give it a five as well. It's got more going on than the actual Digimon. <laughs> All <laughs> right, five. So an 11 and a half out of 10, or out of 20, that's like an 80%, which is just great. <laughs> I'm as good as math as I am with Digimon. Got more going on than the actual Digimon. I'm keen to see this one now. <laughs> oh, Haka Damon. And, um, hmm. <laughs> All right, again, we have some discrepancy. I'm not really sure which one I'm looking at here. One of them's a grave, which I'm hoping that's isn't correct. That, that's no, that's not it. It is it's it. Not, it's not the actual show. It's, it's in, like, the Digimon V-Pet Tamagotchi things when the Digimon dies. Wait, what? It's Wait, oh, it God, an actual Digimon. Yeah. What? what? Okay, Nathan, explain to me what Ohakadamon actually is here. A gravestone. It's just a gravestone. Yes. Yeah, Ohakada means to is apparently the this Digimon VGIM. It's I am. It's uh, Japanese for a tomb. Oh. It it takes. The That's form why of a this pig and a battery are crying at it. I guess yeah. Huh. Apparently, in American versions, it it's like a computer, but. I. Cross or tombstone in Japanese versions. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's better than that. Oh, what the... <laughs> that's also better than that, frankly. But, you know, King Lobster over here is way better than that whale fish with, you know... Uh, uh, it's, I thought that was a fist on his tail. With, you know, his little tadpole with metal arms. That's, you know... Ah, oh, there's this guy. Could have been him. Shark with a life preserver. You'd think that guy would know how to swim. All right. Yeah, no, I like mine better, too. This he's he's proud of you. He's not dead. This isn't a Batman saga. He's just straight proud of you. All right. Uh, I I kind of like this now that I'm getting into it and we've got the rating system. So I'm gonna try for one more each just to annoy the audience. Yeah, I have I have one ready. All right, just great. <laughs> just, just for me, wonderful. Locomon. Locomon. Okay, so let me let me try, Locomon. That right? C. We took a C. Or the C, okay. So they went with actual loco and not like a fancy spelling. Fun fact, that's a capital I, not a lowercase L. Can you tell the difference? I'm typing two separate letters. Not a joke, I'm actually doing that. See? Anyway. 
enough of this nonsense. I forget what the first one even was. <clears throat> so, Locomon. Now, okay, so for this, part of me... Alright, so... <laughs> it's a train, isn't it? Because you were all eager about it, and it's like locomotive. <laughs> and it's Locomon. And I would think crazy for Spanish and whatnot. But like, as soon as my brain was like Loco, I'm like, it's a train, isn't it? Because you know I like trains. Or is that what you wanted me to think? Hmm. Okay, so... Let's start like this. Okay. Uh... I'm, I'm going to operate under my first assumption, which was that it was crazy. So, he's got, you know, I'm going to gonna stray from the mittens here. Actually, go for some hands. A uh, little, you know, stout, stout legs. Uh, because he's Spanish, got to, you know, take care of the head here more than just the top part of that. This one actually has... Um, sort of like a sombrero that it catches rainwater in going on. Uh, got, you know, big old stripes on his body. Uh, they go all the way down because, you know, he's that kind of guy. Uh, big old eyes and uh, big old mouth <laughs> to go with it. And there you have look, come on. That's just a Liddy Cola. Dev no, I've never heard of this. What are you talking about, Nathan? This is an original character by me. Or a Digimon. Please do not steal. Locomon. <laughs> Definitely not based on anything else. What do you what do you give that out of ten, Noki? Three for the lack of originality. How, how dare you? I I think Sombrero Pinecone's pretty damn original. <laughs> What about you, Nathan? You know what? I like Ludicolo. He's one of my favorite Pokemon. I'll give you a 7. Nice! Okay, so that's 10 out of 20. Pretty sure that's like a 95%. Even higher than my 11 and a half. Riddle me that one. So let's let's type in Locomon and see what we get here. <sighs> Sounds like you already have an idea on what it's going to be. Well, goodness me, it's a train. <laughs> it's a straight up train. Looks like he got into a fight one day. With that guy. Uh, yeah, there's a movie based off of him. I mean, I do and... agree. He is perfect. So, this is... I mean, I really like that. Whatever's going on here. That's Grand That's Locomon. Grand Ooh, Logan. I love that guy. That's a murder train. Which, fun fact, that is my lock screen on my computer from uh, Stand Still, Stay Silent. The murder train. Uh, but yeah, no. I agree. He is perfect. That guy gets a 20 out of 20. Uh, Locomon that I drew... Le less perfect, but still, he's a good boy. Deserves better than that three. He, that's he's he's sad, you know. Just I, oh, he's all upset because you gave him a three. How dare you! All right, Nathan. All right, so this one is going to be Eldoradimon. I excuse me. <laughs> I just drew a sombrero wielding pine cone here. L, what is it? Doradimon. Dorati. Uh, no. Um, let me find it again. It is... You did the first part, right? E-L. Then D-O-R-A-D-I-M-O-N. D-O-R-A? Yeah, D-I-M-O-N. El Doradimon. Okay. Yeah. Well, El Dorado is naturally the city of gold. Hmm. I mean... <sighs> Doradimon. How how does one make a city of gold as a Digimon, though? It says the guy who made a zoo a Digimon. Hmm. Okay, well, I think this is uh, how this one's going to play out. Uh, El Dorado, of course, uh, as I said, being Spanish for the city of gold. Um, but that's just the thing. Nathan has once again fallen to his classic trap. We got the L part of the name going God on. <laughs> Now, the problem is he needs to be perfectly Spanish, so we'll give him a big old mustache. <laughs> you know, as all cartoonishly Spanish men have. Uh, I gotta erase the behinds there. 
Uh, let's let's clean up the L as well. I'm a little I don't like how the L turned out here. Ah, uh, there we go. That's that's a much better L. And uh, he's got two big old eyes. And uh, he's got the. I keep I keep having to clean this up, and it's like I think I fear I'm putting way too much effort into this. Is my problem? Clearly, this screams too much effort. Uh, oh, yeah. problems. Give me a second. Uh, yeah, I gotta move you away from the name there and more into the middle of the screen. Okay, so he's got the sort of tipped over style cowboy hat just you know down over on his head there because he's he's going exploring he's he's not just gonna sit around wasting away he's looking for el dorado he's el Doradimon. and uh hmm other aspects of him that i can glean from el Doradimon. it looks like a construction hat unfortunately but uh, that'll just have to do uh, he doesn't actually have two cartoonishly big legs. He, kind of like a centipede, just has a bunch of little legs on the bottom that he slides around on. And, uh, wouldn't you know it, he's got the, the most sensible weapon for a conquistador going exploring, uh, in his big old mitten hand. Uh, and that is... a boomerang. Okay. Because Japan... Are you sure that's not just a very thin gun? Nope, it's a boomerang, because Japan doesn't understand that he's not Australian, so they just gave him a boomerang. Digimon's Japanese, right? It has to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they, gave, they gave him a boomerang. Uh, it, it probably at one point was more offensive, but it got changed for overseas market. So he just scuttles along on his little feet, hucks boomerangs, and you see... The actual logic behind the boomerang is, if you turn it the other way, it's another L. He's got the L thing going on. It's part of El Doradimon. And wouldn't you know it, he's actually himself made of gold, which is why he's got, like, little twinkly sparkles going on here. He's just all a glittery and a goldy. Those are sparkle signs. I don't want to hear it. Look at that. That sparkly L. It's El Doradimon. Bam. Indeed it is. Nathan, you gotta stop with your letter theme. It's getting old. I know. Alright, so Nathan, out of ten. Four. Four. Alright, I've had better, I've had worse. Noki. Three. Three. Ah, oh, you're not a fan of the giant mustache? 7 out of 20. That's like a 40.2%, maybe. I don't know. Uh, all right. Time to type in L. Doradimon. And, ah, that's how you make a city, a Digimon. <laughs> you... It's on the back of a giant turtle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, can you actually go to this city? Is um, he just, like, huge and you can walk around on top of him? Or is he, like, a yeah. miniature... In the, in the show, there was a bunch of pe like, people... I mean, there they are, on clearly back. on his back, based yeah. on the architecture and what's going on here. They appear and to be fighting... Uh, up there. Yeah, they, they appear to be fighting a man who uh, has too many of his bones sticking out of his skin. You should put those back in where they belong. Uh, that, or he needs the power of friendship. Thanks to Deckermon. Ah. All right, I'm I'm enjoying this. If you guys are up for it, we can go. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Off go one. go over the full hour here. All right, Noki, your turn. Tailamon. Okay, as in. Tail. Tailamon. Remove these a. It's just Tailmon. Tailmon. Okay, well, the urge to draw Mr. Miles per hour is strong, but I got critiqued the last time I made that joke. So we're not going to do that. Ah, uh, Tailmon. Okay. So, help me out here. Uh, is he part of a larger Digimon that, like, they form together and create a beast? No. And he's, like, the tail. No, that is not the case. Okay. 
Well, that goes the idea. Give it, can you give us some sort of hint? In, it, it shows up in the anime and... Uh, fucking stellar the, the, the name, you might have seen them, but you don't know them by that name. Because I use the uh, Japanese name, and which also was in the finished up. Not oh. the American name. <laughs> uh, look, I know Agumon and Lokomon. That is the extent of my knowledge. I already forgot the one Nathan gave me. I remember Go Grandma, Mon. That one was good fun. Uh, I remember cute G Cute Mon, because Nathan seems to really love his alphabet-themed ones. You're making a goddamn alphabet soup, aren't you, Nathan? Sure. Uh, next one's going to be like, no, this isn't a letter, I promise. D Q Mon. It's like, all right, look. Dairy Queen. Yes, I'm drawing Dairy Queen with angry eyes. That's... Entirely what's happening here. Okay, Tailmon. Um, well, in case you haven't noticed, Noki, I'm not exactly going for accuracy. I'm sort of mm. going wildly here. So what I think it might be is the cat-like thing that has, like, big old glove hands and, like, a bunch of tails coming out behind it. And it's also got, you know, like, boots that I actually draw a lot. And it's got its own, like, much longer tail. Is that sounding right? I'm obviously doing a shit job drawing it. But there's, like, a cat that has giant yellow gloves. And I know I've seen that one uh, as a Digimon before. But when you said Tailmon, ah, oh, you might recognize it. It's like, well, it's got tails. So that's the one I think it might be based on that description, but we're not here to do that. We're obviously here. So Tailmon, uh, Japan sure loves their foxes, am I right? The Inari. So that's terrible. There's a fox tail uh, with two big old eyes. And uh, you know what? He's just shaking his fist at the sky. How how dare I exist? That's his plan. He's, he's a wiggly little guy. And, uh, obviously a mustache. Because, you know, Tailmon's very hairy, so you gotta give him as much hair as possible. Uh, and he's a bit like a snake. He just sort of slithers around, wiggly little arms. But here's the thing about Tailmon. He also has tails. Lots of tails, because he's Tailmon. He himself is a tail with tails and he uses these tails much like a peacock would to attract mates and even though you said no he's not part of a bigger system i'm suspecting you're lying to me through your filthy finnish face and he's trying to attract over here uh a fox that's what that is not a bird <laughs> shut up i see it more of as a snowman uh, ooh, this, this fox is all, he's got, you know, heart eyes going on. Because the mating ritual is working for Tailmon, and he's going to apply himself to, I'm going to assume, uh, Inarimon. Uh, and together they will become like a full-breaded, nine-tailed fox of Japanese folklore. So, in order to have that, we got to have, uh plus going on there because the two of them together are what truly make harmony and peace and love and happiness in the world and that's I mean that that specifically is Tailmon but I threw in a free one with a Narimon uh, what do you guys think I give it a six okay not bad not bad I'll also give it a 6. Hey, you know what? 12 out of 10, I think that's my best one yet. Or 12 out of 20, sorry. Which is 6 sorry. out of 10, so that's 60%. I'm still... I'm not quite at passing grade. I need at least 65 to be a passing grade. Damn. I'm failing. And, uh... I, I won't have you guys rank Inari separately, because I assume as a pair you were ranking them. Sure. Alright, so Tailmon. Tailmon. I wrote Talmon by accident. Uh, yeah, that's exactly what it is. Yep. It's the yellow-gloved yep. cat thing. It didn't have yeah, all the was, tails like I said it did, but yeah. I was thinking of the ears. Little it spiky was named Gatomon in the uh, American term. Yeah, no, as soon as she was like, Tailmon, and it's like, ah, you might know this when it was in the show, I was like, I, that thing just 
Oh, now I have to censor this one too. Why is that there? Come on, this is like the first collection what is of up images. With your, I don't get these, and I have searched them for all. I, I am using <laughs> Duck Duck. I'm using Duck Duck Go, not Google. Uh, Go moderate there. For now, anyway. Uh, what? The, this isn't better. What's this over here? I don't think I'm not gonna click on it, but I don't think I have to censor that per se. Whatever. God damn it. Yeah, I'm using DuckDuckGo. I'm not using Google. Uh, but yeah, no. As soon as you were like, it's in the show, you might recognize it. I was like, yeah, okay. I, I know that one. Maybe. Probably. That thing. And turns out I was goddamn right. Alright, Nathan. Uh, Alright, this time we're going to be doing Revolmon. I mean, you, this is not a letter. Revolmon. R E V O L M O N. I mean, I figured as much. Okay. In truth, I was checking that one to see if I had to censor it over on the other uh, search there. Revolmon. Got it right? Yes. Okay. Well, the urge is obviously to draw a revolver with angry eyes. But you see, that's what he's expecting. So. Gotta give him a little bit of that razzmatazz. Turns out he's not a revolver, but he does revolve in that he is a giant spinny top. He's got, you know, a little top body going on. Just nice handle there. Uh, big old feetsies as per usual. And he actually... Uh, reminds me a little bit. This is a legitimate Flash character, or Flash villain, rather, uh, called Top Man, who is not just advertising his sexual preference uh, within, in his name whenever he goes on Grinder, but uh, he, in fact, has the same powers as Flash, but only in one direction. I'm not making this up. So whereas Flash can just go in any old direction, Top Man has the power of Speed Force, but he has to spin, like, clockwise to go places. So he just <laughs> spins around going places. Now, the, the cool thing about Revolve Man is you might be thinking, ah, oh, he's a top. That's the bit. He's just going to throw, throw some eyes and a, or a smile on it. Three out of ten. No, he has several faces that change depending on his personality. His head spins around. This one is all like, grr, I'm the angry face. And, you know, he's got, he's got the mouth here so he can talk. That's the angry face. This one, um, this is the, like, I, I did that completely wrong. Uh, this is the sleepy face. I'm, I'm drawing mouths on them when I don't need to. <laughs> need to correct this. So yeah, angry eyes over here. He's got his mouth. This one's the sleepy eyes. This one's your normal, like, happy eyes. This one's, like, crazy, kooky, dizzy eyes. Whoa, they're all over the place. And uh, this one's all, like, oh, sad eyes. And, uh... Of course, befitting of all Digimon, he needs a weapon. He can't just, you know, be hurling himself at people to spin around and bonk into them. So he's armed with a meat cleaver. <laughs> Got out of left field, that one. <laughs> I mean, you gotta gotta keep it spicy, you know. Gotta gotta leave the people wanting, you know. Oh man, meat cleaver for fucking Revolve Mon. That's while he's spinning around, he can just like whoosh. Hack through people with the meat cleaver, just buries it in them. He's really quite dangerous, actually. They, uh, never has there been a foe more dangerous than Revolvemon in his just spinning at high speed, carrying sharp objects at you. Alright, so what do you guys give me for old Revolvemon here? I do like the idea of the, uh, cycling faces thing. Um, so I'm gonna give that, uh, seven. Hey, seven, not bad, I will take that. Noki. I was about to, I was also going to give a seven for the spinning face thing. All right. You know what? I will take that for a four, oh, an actually respectable 14 out of 20, bringing us to a 70%, not even exaggerated numbers on that one. That is a C minus. I am passing with Revolvemon. Eat your heart out, fucking Deckermon that I drew. He trumped your silly ass. All right. So Revolvemon. Revolmon. All right, now look, I'm, I'm better than that. This is a stupid thing I'm looking at. This is stupid. Look at that. 
<laughs> Do you get the joke, everyone? That's like something I would have come up with, except I decided to be creative. I like that he's hanging out with McCree. That's pretty cool. <laughs> but like, really? He, now he's that's the anime. <laughs> I can tell certain images. It's like clearly you're from the anime, but like I mean, really, come on now. Like that's just silly. <laughs> that that's makes... just a gun. People give Pokemon shit. Oh, for what? I have to censor that. <laughs> I'm on moderate. Look at that. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Uh, absurd. God. Yep, yep, definitely gonna need to censor that. That was a Gatling well, gun. Well, people, penis, if you want to so. see what he censors, you can just go on DuckDuckGo and search for these Digimon. Yep, yep, you can certainly. I'm not encouraging or endorsing that. You know, I'm gonna have to censor this. I'm probably using uh, bored Noki face. <laughs> because why not? <sighs> I mean, this this one is cool. Like, if it were that, I'd be fine with it. Because his arms are like giant guns and he's got belts and like holsters and stuff. Like, that's all right. I don't mind that so much. This is just lazy. This is stupid. <laughs> That's almost what I was actually going to draw. Minus the hat. I would have, like, I gave you that one because I expected you to get, kind of get close with that one. <laughs> nah, I, I was like, it can't just be a gun with legs, right? Ah, I bet it's a top. You know, so I, I, I gave him, like, a spinning little thing going on. I like mine way more. All right, we got time, I think, for uh, one more each. Okay. Mm, gun drum on. <laughs> All right, look. <laughs> so, gun drum on. Gun on. Yes. Is that the one I was looking at where it's like, that would be cool? If that no, were that was the old okay. on. All right, sure, why not? That's a thing. Uh, so gun drum on. Um, hmm. Well, you, I thought, you know, Revolvemon, I was giving them credit, making it a little more subtle. Uh, Gundramon is really sort of removing the subtlety. So, uh, I'm gonna assume that we're operating on the same principles here. So, starting over here, whoops, uh, first of all, because all cool, you know, badasses do this in the old Westy style, it's got a cigarette. And here's a long barrel. Got a long barrel because Gundramon is actually a sniper. Uh, so here's the scope up here. Got, you know, the little, little face because he aims for it. Like, yeah. He, he's just happy to be here. Uh, you, you have something to say, Nathan? No, it's just I was looking to see what Gundramon was. I was looking at one for a minute, like, which is called Gumdramon with an M, and I'm like, oh, that's not at all what I was expecting. And then I saw actual Gundramon, I'm like, oh, God. <laughs> all right, so it's a sniper rifle. There's his body. His, Despite having a mouth up here, he just smokes out of the barrel because uh, he's that cool. Uh, and he, he's a long-range sort of guy and uh, got his, you know, you know little feet here because he walks around he has a hard he has a hard time turning around in narrow spaces this guy he uh he bonks into stuff rather a lot but uh the arms this time actually serve a practical use they don't just carry a weapon mainly they pull the reloading action lever on himself he needs to fire bullets and he just has to manually cock it with the uh, loading lever. Now you might be wondering why he has a trigger uh, when he already has the lever and these are his arms and legs. He, can't, he obviously can't reach that. That's his penis. Um, but... Uh, <laughs> I need to censor that! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nah, it's not human. It's fine. It's educa this is educational right here. I'm teaching you what Gundramon looks like. But uh, the other thing is, of course, he does have another hand, which uh, he's waving high over here. And uh, he's actually got... Oh, what do they look like? Um, uh, oh, 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 oh. Uh, I think it's it might just be like a straight spyglass. But, yeah, he's using that to spot. He's also his own spotter. You know, because snipers, obviously, they need somebody to pick the targets for them. He's his own spotter, so he aims with the, the little mini telescope he has. 
Uh, and then, having spotted the target, he loads himself up, and he can just fire the gun. And, obviously, the cigarette, you know, it gets knocked out. It's a pain to light. His arms are a bit stubby. People need to light the cigarette for him. But, again, friendship and whatnot. That's what the show is teaching us. And, uh... Oh... Give him wings, why not? Because he's also a dragon. That's where the drum on part comes in. He's got dragon wings. And it helps him get to higher ground to uh, pick his shots better. Okay. There's Gundramon. What do you think right. there, Noki? Let's give it a six. All right. Six out of ten. Um, I'll give it a five. All right. Five out of ten for a solid 11. I've gone down a bit, but you know what? I'm still above 50%, so I'm doing better than when we started, in which I had a negative three. <sighs> Alrighty, let's actually look up Gundramon here. Gundramon. I accidentally wrote Gundrasmon. Gundramon. Oh, this guy. Yeah, I recognize him. Oh, no, is... that's not the <laughs> That's Gumdramon. Oh, I wrote Gudramon. Sorry. Yeah, that's Gumdramon. Gundramon. My bad. All right. That's... <laughs> Look. <laughs> I, in my brain said Gundam Digimon, and it's like, no, that that's absurd. They can't do that. That would be ridiculous. I, he lives up to the name. I'll give him that. Is he top secret? Is he? That's a terrible secret. <laughs> I mean, really, now. Look. Like... My mine is so much friendlier. Look at this guy. This is a dude you would, you know, party with. You'd have a drink with this guy. He's here to offer friendly advice. That's just guns. That is guns that have given birth to more guns. Who loads him? He doesn't have hands. He just has guns where hands should be. And his tail is guns. That's absurd. That's even even in its own search, it has other Gundams because that's what it's. It's Gundam guy. <laughs> They're like Gundma, Gundramon isn't a thing. Here's you know, it's a Gundam, obviously. Like for God's sakes. All right, Nathan, last one. All right, so this time we're gonna be dealing with Betsumon. Betsumon. Okay, so let's just Betsumon. Whoop. I... Betsumon. That right. Yes. Okay. One thing I will tell you about Betsumon mm -hmm. is um, it can evolve from one of the previous Digimon you've drawn, but I'm not going to say which one. One of the previous ones I've drawn. Now, one of the ones I've drawn or one of the ones you've suggested? Or one of the ones that one of us has suggested. Okay. That's... All right. It's one of the ones you've suggested. Uh, so I need to remember what we've had... It's... That might actually, you know, be a thing that Betsu could be. Hmm. No, do you know what this one is? Yeah. Okay, so it's a popular <laughs> one, or at least a semi-popular one. Because Nathan didn't know what, like, Gundramon is. Ah, so... Betsumon, Betsumon, Betsumon. Okay. Uh, that you've suggested. I'm gonna go... It's all not the necessarily one that I've suggested. It may have been one Noki suggested. Uh, but yeah, when I said when you've suggested, I meant, like, the you two have suggested. Okay. Was, like, the idea of you there was both of you. Gotcha. Okay. Um, I'm thinking I need to go all the way back to the beginning for this. Uh, but that means I have to remember what I drew in the beginning. Now, I remember how I made g -Cute Mon, but I don't remember what g -Cute Mon looks like. Am I allowed to refresh myself by looking up previous sure. g -Mon I've drawn? Okay, so... G cute mon. Oh yes, that thing. That thing probably doesn't evolve further because he was an evolution of cute mon. Okay. Uh, God, what else did I draw before? Uh, go grandmon or go grandma or what? What was it? Go mon. Go mon. Right. Yes. Go mon. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna bet it's this thing. So. This thing evolves. Turns out, uh, takes a weird direction. I know that's going to surprise you guys, but it's not going to look terribly like its original form here. <laughs> so, obviously, Betsumon, work with me here. No, that's wrong. Uh, that's a bit better. Uh, it's got 
a card table. Okay, and it deals cards out to people uh, to play with. And the Mon itself is like a big, long body that the table wraps around. And uh, it's it's a real shady sort of Mon. Cause, and uh, it's weird that Gogamon turns into this. Uh, because, you know, after all, before it was on a hurry to deliver sweets and cookies and whatnot... But here, he's a walking gambling parlor, which is incur it's bad for children. This one never actually made it to the anime, which is a fun fact. Gogemon never evolved, apparently. Ah, I'm creating some insane lore uh, in order to make my nonsense work here. But, uh, yeah, no, he, he deals the cards out and uh, takes in a nice pot of chips at the end there, because he's, you know, he's Betsumon. Gotta, gotta keep the betters happy. And unfortunately with him, uh, his legs... This is, this is the weird part. This is the part that made it so... Really, it was it was bad already because it was encouraging gambling. But then it turned into weird eldritch horror. His legs are actually chairs that people can sit in. And he just... They're not really even detached to his body. But he just walks around on like these weird floating chair things over here. Mm -hmm. Uh, that people can sit in, pull up a chair, you know, make their bets. They can place bets with Betsumon. And uh, really his purpose was whether or not, you know, he's got a little slick smile there. Like, yeah, I'm taking bets. And uh, he always rigs the game. But people would bet on whether or not the protagonists would win. And like I said, the game was always rigged. He always cleaned him out, took him to the cleaners. But yeah, these are somehow his feet. Uh, of course he needs wings because he's a Digimon. Nice little old wings. And obviously he needs a weapon, which is why he's secretly packing heat. <laughs> Makes you play his game. You sit down, you play at the table. He and keeps Betsumon, it on the table. Yeah, he, he then he flies away after he's done cleaning you out. That's what the wings are for. And uh yeah. Whenever whenever there's a sticky situation, he's like, Well, shall we make a wager? And then he pulls a gun on you and you have to play his little card game. Really kind of a horrible little beast, but there he is. Uh, I, I like that I have to come up with backstory to justify my answers as well. That's probably the most fun for me, justifying the backstory and how these things fit into the world of Digimon. All right, you two, give us your scores. Nathan first. Um, I'll give it a six. Nice. Well, once I started, you know, incorporating weirder designs and backstories, you guys have pretty consistently giving me above a five. No, he? Five. Well, you know, above five, five, I'll take it. That's another 11 out of 20. All right, so I'm, I'm getting above 50 towards the end here, which is nice. It's That's, that's for a man who doesn't really know Digimon that well, I, I can respect that. So let's look up Betsumon. Ew. The fuck is that? <laughs> that's the appropriate reaction. That's gross. It's clearly like, well, there it is. That says it all, really. Uh, yeah, but top left is the best image. Is it? Is that accurate? Yes, it is. Oh, well, I'm not censoring that. That's the actual creation. But like, ew, that's just. <laughs> does it get stronger? Does it get better? What is what? How, like, it looks like it becomes worse when it evolves. Yeah. Um. Here are some of its uh, attacks that it has. One of them is. And can can so one of you who knows the anime justify what the hell's going on here? I haven't seen that one. Okay. Um, one of his attacks is Sukami Punch, which translates into Straight Man Punch. A okay. punch with hardly any physical power. So he gets worse when he digivolves. And then his other attack is Cold Gag. Tells okay. a joke so bad that it freezes the opponent. Well, that at least is a useful thing in battle. But, I mean, overall, it just seems like this thing becomes terrible when it digivolves. And there are some Digimon that like like if, in like the Digimon World game, if you didn't train your Digimon well, it could evolve into Numemon or Sukamon, which are like real bad. And like one of them looks like a piece of shit, and one of them is like a slug. Huh. I, yeah. That that's an interesting concept. The if you don't treat them well, they grow up and evolve into things that are worse. Like that's yeah. I actually kind of like that idea. And this is one of them, is it? I suppose, yeah. Although I gotta ask, that that looks like at least it would be good in a fight. 
I mean, I haven't seen the show where this guy is from, okay. but like from what reading the wiki, it seems like it it can like disguise itself as other Digimon and have like attacks based on those. Though that's not bad per se, but the design's horrible. It looks. It reminds me of fucking Skullamania from Street Fighter because it's just a dude in a suit. <laughs> God, that that's horrifying. Well, anyway, uh, let me know, let us all know, I suppose, what you thought in the comments, uh, and by likes and views, I suppose. Uh, if you liked this sort of thing, we might come back and do a redo. We also might uh, swap shows, might swap roles. Uh, Noki and I might team up and give Nathan something. Nathan and I might team up and give Noki something. Haven't discussed that with them. They might be totally against that, so that's not a promise I can keep, just a suggestion. Uh, but if you did like it, I'm more than willing to come back and draw my sweet Digimon. These Digimon are not available anywhere, uh, so don't ask if there's, like, cool super collector cards for these things that I've made. Uh, the answer is no. And really, just... Why? I mean, why half would the real Digimon that? never got cards. So. Well, there you go. The, the only one I'm really proud of was Revolvemon. That's the one where I was like, I, I like what I've created here. I also like that the that's first the one, one that got the highest score. That I think that is also the one that got yeah. like the highest score. I also like that the first one Noki was like, I like that. Was the one where it was a dude. I drew a dude with a mohawk and little like studs in his head. And I'm like, uh, yeah. Decadramon? Yeah, Decadramon. And I'm like, it's a dude. And she's like, I like that guy. It's like, all right, thanks, I guess. Anyway. Thanks so much for watching. I've been Token Lab. This has been uh, my friends Noki Kisa and Nathaniel. Uh, I'll talk to you later, shoot negotiators, and see you around Ask Clowns. Bye. Bye.